I wasn't supposed to. Anyways, how many grams are in 0 0.0626 moles of sodium bicarb, uh, bicarbonate, the main ingredient in alka seltzer tablets? So it gives us the number of moles as 0 0.0626. So that's the number of moles of bicarb in a tablet. So we want to figure out how many grams is that going to be. So remember, we just learned about the conversion between grams and moles, or moles and grams. Do you guys remember what it was called? <coughs> Anyone? The molar mass, right? OK, so how do we figure out the molar mass? Well, we know the. Um, in this case, the formula unit, because it's an ionic compound, right? We know the formula unit. So we're going to figure out um, uh, the um, molar mass using that formula unit. So the molar mass of sodium bicarb is going to be, well, we look up, we have one sodium, right? So. 22.99. And remember, molar mass, what's the units? Grams per mole. Plus one hydrogen. Plus one carbon. Plus three oxygens. That's those grams per mole. Okay. So to two digits after the decimal. 84.01 grams per mole. So that's the molar mass of sodium bicarbonate. Okay. So we should be able to use that to convert this to grams. Does everybody agree with me there? Yeah? Okay, good. So how do I do that? Remember that's a ratio. So we're trying to get rid of moles, and we're trying to take get grams, so we just multiply the two by each other. So just to formally show the ratio, like we like to do in gym chem, right? We want to put the moles on the bottom and the grams on the top, like that. So when we do that, of course, that cancels out moles like that. Okay, and Two, three, six, six, I got 5.26 grams of sodium in an alka seltzer tank. Okay, any questions on that? Seems like a huge alka seltzer.